hey guys, so I got something really exciting in the mail, some Kushcore. I reached out to them, asked them if they could send me some inserts, and they were kind enough to send me two sets. One for my downhill bike and one for my Capra. I actually wasn't expecting them to be so light. They're actually, they're, they're so dense and they looked, they look heavy, but they're actually so light. This is surprising. I've seen a ton of videos of people trying to install them and having a really hard time. And there's even a warning on the front of the box that says, don't try and do it your way, do it our way. I just, can't, I can't take that warning first. I need to learn. I need to try and put them on myself. I worked at a bike shop for eight years every summer and I feel like I kind of know what I'm doing, but I just need to feel, I need to feel the pain. I'm almost certain I'm gonna watch their instruction video and, and do it their way. But first, I wanna see how hard it really is. They also send you the valves, the kit comes with the valves, that uh, have the holes on the sides so the cush core doesn't block the top. Here I come, EWS, protected. Uh, and yeah, the only thing they did say was make sure I run it in the front and the back. It's a system and it's supposed to work like a system. You need the front and the back to work, so. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, how hard could this possibly be? <sighs> All right, you really gotta get the bead under the cush core and get it all in the center so you have a bit more room. One side to go. I'm gonna just put sealant in it right now in the hopes that I can actually get the bead on. This might be a terrible idea though. I got it, I got it in. 45 minutes from the first install, three more to go. I think that last one's gonna go quick, I hope. All right, I've got one of the cush cores in the front tire. I'm gonna do the rear tire now. You guys don't need to watch that one and let's just skip ahead to when I go test the mode for the first time, let's go. All right, so I made it to Burke. I'm gonna go for a ride, got the cush core in. I'm running less pressure than I normally would. It says you could, usually you'd run like five PS, five PSI less than you're used to. So I think that's gonna make the climbing a little slower, but I don't feel like bringing my gauge with me and fiddling with the air when I get to the top. So I guess let's get climbing. All right, so we're climbing up Burke, going probably two thirds up the mountain up to upper elevator so that I can do lower elevator. This is the first real ride with Cush Core. And I've got pretty low pressures, I think like 21 PSI in the front and around the same in the back, 22 or 23. Usually I'd run more like 28, 30. Don't wanna ding that rim, but feel much more confident with the Cush Core. The climbing doesn't feel much different. If anything, I feel like I have more grip now, but it doesn't feel too sluggish or any more sluggish than it would running these pressures. But like I said before, the Cush Core is a lot lighter than I thought it would be. It seems like it'd be pretty similar just to running tubes weight-wise. And here's the thing about Burke too, it's a fire road and it's a short-ish climb, but it does get steep. So let's just go to the top. All right, made it to upper elevator. I got new brake pads in. This is a really steep trail, I think. So good time to bed them in. Oh yeah, they are not as grippy as they should be. Woohoo! That's a cool trail though. Oh, it's kind of a, kind of a roll, kind of a drop. Uh, trail goes this way, almost looks like it splits off. 
Oh yeah, this is pretty how you doing. Oh. Burke is such a cool mountain. This is probably some of my favorite trails. So one thing that I'm noticing is even though I'm running way less pressure in my tires than it normally would, my tires feel full still kind of, it's kind of but not but not bouncy. Oh yeah, this must be it. It's real steep. Uh, yeah, they're like they're yeah. How do I explain this? And try not to die at the same time. Uh, yeah, like they feel like they're not squirming around, but there's tons of grip. Uh, oh, this way. Oh yeah, this is steep. I fixed my foot. I gotta stop stopping. Oh yeah, this is we. Oh, that's steep. <laughs> so cool. Like I was saying, oh, it's interesting. Yeah, my tires feel good. In a good way, they feel like stiff in that there's not squirm, but they're pretty low pressure right now. So they're kind of there's lots of surface area against the ground and it got tons of grip. Whoa. <laughs> Which is good for this trail because it is steep. Oh yeah, that's, <laughs> that's tight. Oh. <laughs> And I can drop onto rocks with no fear. Somewhat. Cush core to the rescue. Whoa. <laughs> awesome. Ah, that's so good. So cool. Seems only fitting. I should go down lower elevator now. Which is around here somewhere. Aha. Uh, where's the entrance? Right here. This is a pretty steep trail too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, gotta hit all these little drops. I think I could actually run my tires with even less pressure. trail. Alright, 
right, so now we're gonna go down Recycle. Just a bit faster trail. A couple more jumps. See how the Kush core does for this. Uh, oh, I always forget that corner. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, a little detour there. Oh, dropped the flat. Dropped the flat. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so a few finishing thoughts about the Kush Core. I like it a lot. It's different than I was expecting. It's, what's the best way to describe it? The Kush Core is like a way for you to get all the benefits of running low tire pressures, but without, I don't want to say without the downsides, but definitely with less of them. Even on the climb, so I was running much less pressure than I normally would, especially when climbing. Uh, and I thought, I was like, oh no, it'll be like kind of slow and boggy, but with the Kush core just like holding the tire, it even on the climbs, especially on Burke where like the climb is kind of loose, I felt like I had more traction and it was, it was weird. It's like it's stiff, but also a little spongy, like just spongy enough very different than just not having a tire insert and I didn't feel like I lost nearly as much climbing ability as I thought I would running those low of pressures so that was awesome and then riding down like you heard in the video it's like your tire is it's squishy and it's malleable on the top but it keeps its shape and you're just not getting that squirm in the corners and stuff like that so you're just you're a little faster you're smoother it's definitely sounds different as well so normally if you were going to run low tire pressures for more grip and better cornering and things like that you would get tire squirm and you'd probably worry about denting your rims and maybe you'd be a little slower and that's exactly what the Kush Core helps with and it's a lot lighter than I was expecting I think it's probably I think it weighs less than the tubes I had in my 2S and now right now I'm putting the Kush Core in my 2S but something else happened. Let's go take a look. So I'm taking apart the two as and I notice I'm like, oh, these bearings feel a little wonky and those bearings feel a little wonky and the bottom rack feels a little wonky and the headset feels a little wonky and I should service the fork and I should service the shock. And now my two as is all apart and I've ordered frame bearing kits and all sorts of stuff. So I meant to just put in the Kush Core and now I have tons of work to do on my 2S and hopefully it gets done by opening day because I'm really excited to use the Kush Core in the bike park. I think that's going to be huge. Really excited about that. So I guess we'll see you then. <laughs>